Welcome to this StatsCast. In this StatsCast, we will learn how to determine the sample size we need to estimate a mean. In this example, we wish to find the sample size we need to estimate the mean time it takes for batteries of a particular brand to go from 1.5 volts to 1 volt. In this case, the population is all batteries of this particular brand and particular type. Now, we can't test every single battery. It would take too long, it would be extremely expensive, and let's face it, we'd have none left to sell anyway after we've tested them all. So the only feasible way to estimate this time is to take a sample of batteries from that population. But how many do we need to have in our sample? Well, that depends on how precisely we want to estimate the true mean time mu. This sample will only give us an estimate of that true mean time we'd expect that the sample mean would give us an estimate that would be pretty close to this true population mean if the sample was collected well. And we'd expect that the true population mean would be close to this sample mean, x bar. Now the sample mean may be a little bit higher than the true population mean, it may be a little bit lower than the true population mean, but we'd expect it to be fairly close. In other words, there's going to be an interval surrounding the sample mean in which we'd expect to find the true value of that population mean. And this interval is going to look something like the sample mean give or take a certain amount. And if the estimate is a precise estimate, the amount we give or take will be small. How much we give or take is called the margin of error. Now we'd expect that larger samples would provide better information and give us a better estimate of this population mean. But again, how large do we need that sample to be? In our example, we want to be able to estimate the population mean to within 5 seconds. That is, the true value of the population mean will be somewhere within the interval, sample mean give or take 5 seconds. And we've noted we want to be 95% confident. So in this case, there's an approximate formula that we can use for the sample size. And that formula is n, the sample size, is approximately equal to 2 times the standard deviation divided by the margin of error all squared. Now just repeating, this is an approximate formula that only works for 95% confidence. Now in this example, the standard deviation is 0.29 minutes. We're also told that the margin of error, the amount we give or take, is about 5 seconds. Now we really need to make sure that everything is in the same units, and 5 seconds turns out to be 5 seconds out of 60 seconds in minute, or about 0 0.0833 minutes. So with this information we can work out the sample size. It will be approximately 2 times the standard deviation divided by the margin of error. And we can plug all of that into our calculator, not forgetting to do the squaring, and we get 48.44. So we need at least 48.44 batteries to be able to estimate the mean time. Now clearly we can't have 0.44 of a battery, so we need to round this, this number to a whole number. Now in sample size problems, it's always better to have a slightly larger sample size than necessary, rather than a slightly smaller sample size. So in this problem, we would need at least 49 batteries to be able to estimate the mean.